Tesla has officially begun the rollout of its highly anticipated and much-awaited full-cell driving beta version 9 software update. For starters, Tesla full-cell driving beta version 9 is a new software update for the company's full-cell driving software package. Despite its name, it is not actually fully autonomous. The feature began rolling out to FSD beta members on Saturday. The new update is currently being pushed to Tesla's Early Access Program, and per latest information shared by the company, the Early Access Program comprises only approximately 2,000 members, most of which are Tesla's employees. According to videos and photos shared online by some Tesla owners, the newest version of FSD Beta version 9 is a true definition of what Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently described as a mind of car view. Tesla's full self-driving beta version 9 update now depends on Tesla Vision, a computer vision system that relies on optical imagery to provide drivers with a better idea of what the car sees as it makes lane changes on city streets, makes right and left turns, and also navigates around other cars or objects on the road. As per Tesla's full self-driving beta release notes, it appears that the company remains steadfast in its stance that FSD beta program members must exercise caution while using the newly updated software. Use full self-driving in limited beta only if you pay constant attention to the road and be prepared to act immediately, especially around blind corners, crossing intersection, and in narrow driving situations, Tesla cautioned FSD beta users. The release notes for the new FSD Beta update also mention speed assist improvements, which activate the vehicle's camera to reach speed limit signs and thus increase the accuracy of the speed limit data. The release notes also talked about FSD Beta version 9's driving visualization improvements and cabin camera. It appears that Tesla has improved the driving visualization in order to boost the capabilities of the newly launched FSD Beta version 9. As per the notes, Enabling the FSD on results in an expanded instrument panel showing finer details on the surroundings. The lines and the intersections look much clearer. While the apps on either side of the panel are not displayed when FSD is engaged, such information as the driving speed, settings for the autopilot speed, autopilot availability, and detected speed have been moved to the bottom of the panel. Also of note, the automaker could start using cabin camera to determine whether drivers are paying attention to the road when driving their Teslas. As for the actual driving behavior, it appears that the driver assist suite has indeed made notable improvements. One beta tester and a Model S owner has shared his experience with the new feature. According to the Model S owner's short video posted on YouTube, his FSD beta version 9 can be seen handling several roundabouts without any trouble. His car's advanced driver assist system handled them remarkably well. The same observations were also made by a Model 3 owner, fellow FSD beta tester, who drove her car on different challenging roads. Interestingly enough, her advanced driver assist system also performed well in a series of narrow streets. As per her video posted on Twitter, the Model 3 took a blind left turn into a very narrow road. The vehicle did perform blind left turns safely without requiring the driver's intervention. Other members of the Beta version 9 program have also remarked that their vehicles now behave better than ever. While most of FSD Beta version 9 updates were under the hood, at least it's becoming evident that the Silicon Valley-based automaker is making great strides towards achieving its goal of autonomous driving. Tesla's reportedly using machine learning systems and neural networks to better and improve its FSD. As more photos and clips about the new vision-only system's capabilities would certainly be shared over the weekend, we're likely to see how Tesla vehicles handle even more challenging situations than ever before. According to the company, the FSD Beta version 9 could be opened up to more Tesla owners if testing goes very well. Meanwhile, if you thought that the Tesla Cybertruck's bizarre angular styling, cold rolled stainless steel exterior, armor glass windows, solar charging tonneau cover, handless doors, yoke steering wheel, and an updated user interface experience are all what the electric pickup truck had to offer, you would be far from right. Recently, Tesla CEO shared some notable insights about the upcoming all-electric pickup truck, 
As per his latest round of Cybertruck-related posts on Twitter, the final design of the production car would be almost exactly the same as that of the prototype unveiled back in November of 2019. While responding to a Twitter post by a Tesla fan, who claimed that the daring design will never enter production in its original form, Mr. Musk wrote, Friday afternoons are usually Tesla design studio time. Cybertruck will be almost exactly what was shown. But Mr. Musk's update wasn't much of a surprise, considering that Tesla mentioned slight possible changes to the vehicle. However, Mr. Musk scrapped that plan following a design review in May last year. Mr. Musk also added the biggest tidbit of new information about the Cybertruck yet. According to Tesla CEO, the Cybertruck would be equipped with four-wheel directional steering, which should provide it with additional maneuverability through tricky terrains. We're going to add the steering on the rear wheels so that it can make tight turns and maneuver with great agility, Mr. Musk said. In a series of tweets, Mr. Musk added that a lot of other great things were coming, though he declined to clarify whether these great things would find their way to the Cybertruck in the end. The electric automaker may have decided to add four-wheel steering to its sci-fi-styled all-electric pickup truck after seeing the new GMC Hummer EV's innovative crab mode. If Mr. Musk's statements are to be believed, the Cybertruck's incoming steering feature could see the rear wheels pivot in the same angle and direction as the front wheels, allowing the vehicle to move in diagonal direction at rock-crawling speeds. Alternatively, bringing this feature to the sizable Cybertruck could reduce the turning radius and boost the truck's maneuverability in tight off-road trails as well as in parking lots. It also makes sense for the US-based electric car maker to add a rear-wheel steering to the Cybertruck since the feature has been used by luxury automakers in the production of their long-wheel-based sedans. Being a heavy-duty pickup truck, it is pertinent for the Tesla Cybertruck to be as maneuverable as possible. Coupled with a new dynamic suspension system, the Cybertruck's crab mode feature could help the electric pickup truck dominate in extreme and deadly endurance events, such as the Baja 500-mile and Baja 1000-mile race. At the moment, it's unclear whether four-wheel steering will be offered as standard or as an optional feature on the first batch of tri-motor versions of the Cybertruck, expected to begin deliveries in late 2021. The electric automaker has reportedly gathered refundable deposits of $100 from more than 1 million pre-orders for this polarizing pickup. Assembly will run off at Tesla's new facility in Austin, Texas, as early as this year. The automaker is reported to have started reaching out to reservation holders and confirming a late 2021 production start. When the production kicks off, the first trucks will be the tri-motor models, and production of less powerful and cheaper variants will follow in late 2022. With regards to pricing of Tesla Cybertruck, the rear-wheel drive model is priced at $39,900 and features a single electric motor, which gives you up to 250 miles of driving range, plus 7,500 pounds of towing capacity. The mid-range dual-motor model has a starting price of approximately $49,900 and comes with a 300-mile driving range and 10,000 pounds of towing capacity. According to Tesla, this variant is the most popular among the Cybertruck pre-orders. The range-topping tri-motor Cybertruck model will be priced at $69,900. This variant comes with an estimated driving range of up to 500 miles. It has enough power to sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. Its towing capacity is approximately 14,000 pounds. It is important to note that the Cybertruck won't arrive with a camper and Tesla's full self-driving software. You will need to purchase the camper or subscribe to the FSD software at $10,000. By the time the Tesla Cybertruck arrives, the all-electric pickup truck market should be saturated with different options, including entries from Bollinger, Rivian, Ford, General Motors, and so on and so forth. Ford has already started rolling out its all-electric truck, the F-150 Lightning. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.